I want to say about a month or two ago, we got ourselves a brief teaser trailer for the upcoming Chippendales coming to Disney Plus, and the consensus was it was a bit of a mess. An entertaining mess, but still a mess. We got CGI, live action, and traditional animation kind of melding together in what I'd like to call a Roger Rabbit's nightmare mess of a situation. And at least it was interesting. As we said, it was entertaining enough to keep keep our attention and let us know that there's a new movie coming on, on the pipeline. So now we got ourselves a new trailer that just dropped earlier today. So we're gonna do our usual, put the ears on, take a look at what's going on in the trailer and maybe, just maybe, get ourselves some, some new Easter eggs here and there. So let's go ahead and get going. Y'all ready? Let's go. What's the first thing that pops into your head when I say Chip and Dale? I bet it's these guys. <laughs> really? Seconds would be those rascally cartoon chipmunks, Chip and Dale. Indeed. Something like. I am into what? <laughs> good, good. I love it. Great stuff. <laughs> what? Woo! Just want to remind you guys, I'll be at FanCon this afternoon. Hey, watch out! Wow, really? And you know, my updated modern look. Don't you think you'd have more fans here if Chip did these events with you? I hadn't thought about him in a while. I should give him a call. See how life's treating him. This is so weird. Which is why you need good insurance. <sighs> a message on my landline. I don't like that. I know you're still mad about Rescue Rangers getting canceled, but I just got a call from the police and I need your help. That might be strange. <laughs> I the wow. Why would there be six missing tunes in a month and not one clue? Oh, no. She been asked that Chip. Dale, you look different. It's no secret I had the CGI surgery. What's been up with you? You know this, that. <laughs> CGI you know, surgery. Things to fill the space of this conversation. Cool. We can see what we can find out and then pass it along to the officer. But that's all we're going to do. So you're saying the rescue rangers are back? Yes. <laughs> You two come poking around where you don't belong, and I can't have that. Run! I got him! Is that Peter Pan? What are you looking at? Honestly, your weird dead eyes. <laughs> Is that Poomba? Over here! Go get him! Oh. No way. This is a mess. <laughs> but again, an entertaining mess. Uh, first of all, like, how are you going to be self-referential about so many things that people, you know, criticize you about as if that's, that's, it, it's just, it's this weird situation where, where Disney's like, okay, you guys didn't like the dead eyes of, of, of our Lion King characters. Let's reference that by putting Pooh in there talking about it. Ha ha ha. Like really, really, really bros. Like, like how, how, how you going to do that? But I guess it could work. It's definitely got the Roger Rabbit flair where you have Toontown and tunes going missing. And it, it, it's, it's an updated Roger Rabbit. It's an updated Roger Rabbit. Let's 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 be real. Uh, the animation, at least when it comes down to the traditional animation in this, is weird. It's like a weird rotoscoping kind of effect to it, which doesn't like have a lot of life to it compared to a movie that came out in the eighties. The CGI is also a little weird, and again, not super duper full of life. But like moving beyond that. The people involved with it, you know, uh, uh, John Mulaney, Andy Samberg, and a whole host of other names, uh, is is definitely going to be the one, be the things that's carrying this film. As we said, we saw like references to Peter Pan again, The Lion King, uh, oh, a whole bunch of uh, our our favorite uh, Disney sidekicks, I guess you would say, you know, with with Flounder from The Little Mermaid and Lumiere from uh, Beauty and the Beast, and, and a lot of other characters and. Wait, I have a question. Does 
What was Chippendales Fox? Does Disney own? I mean, uh, uh, was was Alvin and the Chipmunks Fox? Does, does Disney own Alvin and the Chipmunks now? Is that why they're making that statement so they can just be like, "Ha ha, you gonna see an Alvin and the Chipmunks 2024?" No, please, please, no, please, no. But, but. It, it got some chuckles out of me, probably because of the absurdity of it all. I don't know if it was the uh, was the comedy. I don't know if the comedy is going to be good enough to keep me engaged or if it's just going to be me watching going like, what the heck is going on? Sort of like it was with with. Well, no, no, Pinocchio didn't didn't keep me engaged because that was a that was just a bad movie, bad movie. But trailer for Chippendales new trailer showing you uh, what's going on, at least when it comes to the plot. Um, I do like world building and it seems like they're going to be focusing a little bit on the world building when it comes down to tunes or at least a tune town analog and you know real life so I'm, I'm curious about that i'm also happy that it's not just regular you know animation you got your cgi you got your stop motion claymation uh maybe you're gonna get some puppetry here and there maybe maybe who knows we'll see um definitely had the 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 world of warcraft ish uh cgi people as well so i'm 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 curious but it's got my attention it's it's interesting and that's the only thing that you can want out of a movie like this you're not gonna get like you know freaking shakespeare or anything but it's gonna be interesting so i'm down for it anyway that was a trailer for chip and dale coming to disney plus let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below uh, also our question of the day that's gonna be my question of the day frick it does Disney now own Alvin and the Chipmunks? I could Google it, but that's not the point of the question of the day. Y'all gonna tell me. Let me know down in the comments below because again, we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju Faithful. You'd also help support this channel by making sure that you subscribe to us. Hit that little bell icon to get notifications for every video that we do just for you because we do like to see y'all come around again. Liking the content that you do enjoy, drop a comment down below because again, we do like to hear from you guys as well. And we are one little, 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 little minuscule community. And speaking of community, you can help further support this channel by becoming a patron. Head on over to patreon.com slash heal kaiju. Get up this on the site store and the channel uh get you some exclusive discount codes whenever we do drop them and get your name at the end credits videos just like these and speaking of those discount codes i know i kind of jumped the line right there i usually have a flow right there but it didn't work this time around so you're gonna y'all gonna listen to me and try it again pin comment in the description it's showing up on your screen head on over there to take a look at the merchandise that we got just for you guys become a member of the kaiju wrecking crew we want to thank you guys for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful time out there. And we'll catch you on the next Trailer Drops. Deuces.